What's up guys, it's Jacob here and I'm going to show you how to do that Starfield effect. Alright, so we're going to say File New and we're going to create a new document. I'm going to make it 500 by 500 just to make it simple. And alright, we have this square here. Now create a new layer right off the bat and fill that in with black using Alt Delete. And then go to Filter, Render, um, sorry, Filter Noise, Add Noise and select 10% um, Gaussian and mono Monochromatic. And that gives us this. Now we're going to go to Image Adjustments Brightness Contrast and we're going to dim the stars a little bit because the small stars aren't supposed to be as bright. And we're going to turn the contrast up to about 75. Alright, now that we have that done, we're going to duplicate this layer and we're going to transform it using Control T and we are going to stretch it to about double the size just like that and then we're going to say image adjustments brightness contrast and we're going to turn the brightness down um, to about 100 and the contrast up to about 75 or no 50 ish that works and now you can just barely see the stars here well now you're going to hit control I to invert and you're going to hit control L and you're going to drag this black slider all the way up till it's about 225 or 230 and then you can drag this white slider back until you have something like that if you want more there there that looks good alright so now we have that you can hit OK and then hit control I again and you have larger stars now set that to screen and as you can see, you have larger stars in the front and smaller stars in the back. Alright, now here comes the fun part. We are going to basically destroy what we have just created. So grab an eraser, um, make sure that it's at 100% hardness, and uh, you can turn the spacing down if you like as well. And um, there's no really wrong size of brush. I'm going to set 100 pixels. No, that's too big. Um, 50 pixels is good and we're gonna start with the top layer and we're just gonna go to town just start erasing things randomly that's all we have to do is just erase things until you have I'm gonna undo that because I erased too much of the one side you wanna make it look kind of uniform so that there's stars in like every part of the picture but you also wanna like destroy it <laughs> this is the best way I can put it alright that looks pretty pathetic now we're going to um, just make this layer invisible and we're gonna go to town on the um, on the small stars layer so whoops you wanna fill the background in with black as well alright so we're just gonna go to town on this one too and we're just gonna erase oops I'm erasing the wrong layer there we're gonna erase this you want to be able to see more small stars than um, than big stars, so you want to kind of leave more of the small smaller stars in. Um, I erased too much of the left side again. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. And just not as much destruction, but still kind of a lot. All right, that looks good. Now you can make that layer visible again. Now what we have here looks pretty pretty bad. But that's okay, because now what we're going to do is we're going to um, flatten this by going to Layer, Flatten Image, and then we're going to grab our Clone Tool with Mode set to Screen, and we're going to make sure that the hardness is all the way up yet again, and we're going to turn the size down to about the same size that our eraser was. And what we're going to do is we are going to clone, just start cloning all over the place. Try to avoid cloning edges because that just makes it look bad. And you're just going to clone randomly. You can create sort of a, a star center here where the stars are mo more focused in the image right here. And just fill up the whole image basically. Clone the smaller stars and clone the larger stars. 
Again, make sure that you're trying to avoid cloning edges. I'm going to continue to do that and um, see you when I get back. All right, now that is looking pretty sweet. What we can do to make it even look better, though, is we're going to duplicate this background layer. And then we're going to go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we're going to set it to 6 pixels. Now we're going to set the layer to Screen. And that gives us a dust. But now, to make it even better, we'll go to Image, Adjustments, Color Balance. Where is that at? Here it is. And we can adjust the tone, the color of it, to make it look, you know, kind of spacey. I really like the blues, but you can like also go to reds and stuff. But um, now that is looking pretty good. What we can do now, though, is you can add various things with the star field. You could add planet. You could do all kinds of things. Add bigger stars. Um, the way that I like to add bigger stars is I take a brush and I take, I make it white and I uh, create a new layer in between these layers and I just put one right there and I can uh, t change the brush size and put one there put one there, put one there, put one there, change the brush size again and make it 25 or something no that's too big brush size and make it 15 and do that and then I like to take this layer and I can uh, duplicate it and then blur the bottom part and I can duplicate that layer and it kinda makes you know good stars and we can turn the opacity of the top ones down to um, 75 and then we can turn this opacity down to 50 and turn this one down to 50 it kinda it's not a very good star effect another option is you could do a lens flare shrink it and then put it there and erase the parts of the lens for that you don't want to make it like a bright star. Um, what you can also do is, I'm going to delete these star layers, is, actually I'll just leave them. You can add a texture to this. So, let me grab a texture really quick. Alright, I just imported this um, kind of um, cracked texture here. I'm just going to enlarge that to make it um, fit the whole image and then um, hit enter to keep it that way and then I'm going to desaturate it because we don't want any of its color showing up in the final product so we're going to desaturate that to make it black and white and we're going to make it darker as well alright that works and um, then what we're going to do is we're going to set this to overlay and that will kind of give it um, a texture it's kind of hard to see but you can duplicate the layer and you'll start to see it. Um, this probably wasn't a very good texture, but um, you know it works. And that is basically how you make a star field. Um, you can obviously make it look a lot better if you have um, time. Um, I am limited to so many minutes on this tutorial, so it looks like uh, not as not as good as it could be, but you can make it better. So anyway, that's how you do that. I hope I helped. Um, if I didn't, you can always email us at ccmultimedia2011 at gmail.com. And you can also send us a message in YouTube, uh, whatever. However you want to contact us, we will reply shortly. And we can walk you through things and we can um, do videos that you suggest and whatever. All right. Well, that's it for today. See you later.